We started with the mandatory SIM registration a year and a half ago, and uh, one thing we ought to now address the country as is self introspect is our just behavior generally to, to, to some of this uh, national call. Yes, uh, both the ministry and the regulator yesterday held a press conference where they have also expressed concern, and uh, the ultimatum is that there will be no extension. Uh, after the 31st of December 2023. We are standing at a 43%. That means over more than half are not, uh, subscribers are not registered that uh, nationally. And as MTC, we're saying, yes, instead of uh, us uh, thinking of uh, possible extensions whatsoever, let us use the remaining days as a nation to go out there and register our SIM cards. As a company, we have uh, put mechanisms in place already since last year, and maybe just reinforcing them now as we come close to the deadline. And some of those mechanisms are teams that have gone, uh, that have been deployed to the rural areas in towns where we don't have MTC mobile homes, in the villages to possibly meet the um, subscribers halfway. But then again, uh, the, the general understanding here is that it is the responsibility of every card holder, every SIM card holder, to ensure that theirs is registered. Because if not, there is an inevitable disconnection. That, I think, also is the position of the uh, regulator. I think the primary responsibility lies on the SIM card holder to ensure that, yes, the SIM card is uh, registered. We will at all times, and we've been doing it and still doing it, try and meet the nation halfway, and particularly with our subscribers that find themselves in very remote regions or villages where there's no MTC services. We have done that, and uh, oftentimes when the team goes to the villages, there are notifications, especially with the surrounding areas, to say, look, on this specific date, we'll be in your region at this uh, uh, gathering area or at the councillor's office, so please come through and ensure that your, your your SIM card is registered. The general reception oftentimes is very, or used to be very low, and the attendance is very low. And it is just unfortunate that when you deal now with the entire country, you cannot go to the same place twice uh, because the need is very visible, especially in other areas. So in those regions or villages where we've been, oftentimes we came back, but when we've not come back, uh, those uh, customers have lost out, and again, we emphasize it is the responsibility of the card owner to ensure that their SIM card is registered. If you've already been to your village and you're unfortunately not available, visit your nearest mobile home. Ensure, in fact, put it on your calendar that on this specific day, I will ensure that uh, we will stand in those queues to ensure that, yes, I've registered my SIM card. Um, the other, um, uh, other alternative that we, we're looking into Soon to be active is online SIM registration, where we want to, uh, where we have a seamless um, platform to ensure that our customers are able to register their SIM cards from the comfort of their homes. But then again, we're also aware that uh, it's not everybody with a smartphone who's able to do this, and uh, that is just another additional uh, um, additional activity that we are really putting. In place to ensure that uh, come the 31st of uh, December, everybody is registered. Is MTC perhaps uh, looking to extend its hours so that uh, it can accommodate more people? Yes, we, we have uh, op uh, we have extended our operating hours, particularly with SIM registration in mind, but also allowing our uh, points of operation to also assist our customers with other services. So from a Monday to a Saturday, for example, we've extended our hours from 8 to 7 p.m. And then on Sundays, that will be from 9 to 1 o'clock. So there is an extension. Uh, our, our ambassadors mean they'll work longer hours. And we are really hoping that as a country, we see this as an opportunity for our customers to really come out and register their SIM cards.